Hello and welcome to another art log. Here are some sketches I did in one of my travel journals. Most of the time when I travel I don't have time to sit and draw on location. I make sure I take lots of pictures and that way I can fill my travel sketchbooks at home. This is another Hogwarts Legacy Dream sketchbook. This one is focused on the slithering things and dark arts. I started with this gouache sketch of the entrance to the common room. And I added the metallic paint on it too. And I drew the Celtic pattern of the door in the back. It starts with the Hogwarts castle. Anyway, just another sketchbook I am filling. I wasn't going to paint the ship in the storm, but I felt like I should give it a try, just so I have different kinds of illustrations on the same set. So here's my thumbnail, it probably makes no sense, but I can understand what's going on and that is what's important, I guess. Let's see if I can make this into a painting.
This is what my mermaid illustration is looking like at the moment, after one day of painting. I do like how the ocean and the sky are coming along. I think I need to make the sails and the mermaid a bit darker, just so they look like they actually are in the scene. Right now they look a bit pasted on, and I think it's because of the values. And also I think I should add some darker values to the foam as well. So we'll see how it turns out. So far I do like the way it's coming along. So let's hope it stays in a good track. Here's the finished look. I do think it looks way better with the darkened elements. I am proud of this one because it's not something I would normally paint, which is why it's good to get ideas from books. So I guess it's good that I'm doing the illustrations from the book. This one also goes into the pile. However, because it's too big, it won't fit in one of the plastic ones. I'll just add it at the end. I need to find the plastics that fit this kind of paper size. This creature is a bit flippant, as in it flips me out. Maybe it's just a video game version, because I think I've seen it before in the Fantastic Beasts movie, but I don't recall it making me feel so flipped. This is my next Lord of the Rings illustration. I went with Aragorn as King of Gondor for the letter K. And here we have the final. In general, I think I should work more on getting the likeness. That would be for the next illustration. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.